check for advanced restart button first it's available you can directly boot into recovery if you don't have that you can use traditional method to boot into recovery using volume up button and power button pressing them simultaneously and i am using here orange fox recovery latest update for i mean latest available recovery for redmi note 7 pro if you want you can use this black record also but i will recommend to use this one go to here delete section i mean wipe section select this advanced swipe and select the alu catch and system vendor and data and swipe here to wipe it once that has been done go to home section again here and select this file section wherever you download rom zip files go there first flash the firmware always 12.5.1.0 this is the latest available firmware for redmi note 7 pro okay go to home section again and select a rom zip file in this video i am going to flash this superior os 12 let's see i will get a little bit closer you can see here with may security patch and this is the latest available build with may 7th you can see here it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed you can see here the rom zip file has been flashed successfully again go to home section here and select the fcrypt disabler v3 flash this done go to home section again and select this menu and select reboot and select system this is the flashing method of superior os latest build for redmi note 7 pro in this video i'm going to explain everything in detail regarding this particular rom how is the battery life how is the charging speeds how is the bgmi gameplay how, what all the features bugs everything will be explained in detail stay tuned till the end of the video and here we go it's booted into superior os let's begin this video hey welcome back to my new video this is sampath you are watching sampath samfx youtube channel and this is the redmi note 7 pro custom rom reviews and here you can see a superior voice version 12 with standard version also 12 and it's a latest available build for redmi note 7 pro with may 5th 2022 security patch and build date you can see here may 7th it's a latest available build and kernel used here is 4.14.190 x caliber plus kernel has been used here ceiling status is enforcing and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last 5 minutes and 10 seconds you can see here the maximum is 155 average is 146 and minimum is 133 million gips and there is a little bit of throttling going on hence it's recognized as throttled, throttled to 90 percent of its max performance that's how it is and uh, regarding dialer you get direct video call feature and no problem regarding earpiece and like that and there is no call recording option in this particular rom and uh, now let's moving into the benchmark results first starting with android benchmark results you get very good score of 2,80,803 here and temperature raise was just 1.5 degree celsius and three percentage of battery has been dropped during this antidote benchmark result testing it's quite good the scores are very good but uh, that's not the same case in the geekbench scores here you can see here the single score is 483 which is okay 1376 the multi score it could have been better that's how it is but overall it's fine enough uh, there is little bit of throttling and comparing these scores but these are just a benchmark results scores but actual performance is fine enough you can see here there's a quick settings panel you get there data usage storage and if in the edit option you can add here you can see if you want to add them you can drag them vice versa and this is how the settings panel you get as you can see it's smooth enough you can see here very very quick to use those things and regarding the drm info in this particular rom superior os 12 with android version 12 with may security patch you can see here level 1 certification drm info you can watch all the odt application in hd resolution that's not the problem and coming to camera application you get here anx camera as a pre-installed camera here first time it gets booted out but after that it's still having this problems i don't know okay now it's fine enough you can see little bit crash going on during the first put of this particular 
from the ANX camera, I mean the MIUI camera. But apart from that, it's working fine right now. And if you can use the Google camera port, here I am using Nikita Gcam. You can use any other Gcam ports in order to get advanced features like astrophotography and nightlight mode and portrait mode as you get in the Pixel devices. You can use the any other Gcam ports and have here like 100 Mbps plan Wi Fi connection geo giga fiber it's pulling up to 90 to 95 mbps which is not a problem it's a good thing even with mobile data connection also working fine carrier aggregation support is also given no problem regarding that and uh, now coming into safety net status you can see here it get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay paytm whatever it is all the things are working fine even whatsapp is also working fine in this particular rom let's go into settings and before that let me show you the home screen here you get to android 12 style widgets here just drag and use that as you can see you just need to drag and use and there are some of the presets like four presets you can even customize them later also that's how it is and uh, quick settings panel as i said before and let's go into settings panel here you get this kind of settings panel here into system into the gestures there is no option here that's how it is and uh, let's move into digital well-being and parental controls no one uses it location maps google maps everything is working fine into security options you get face lock fingerprint unlock and smart lock there is no app lock here and encryption and credentials phone is not encrypted and let me show you the fingerprint unlock speed here just tap it's get unlock it is taking a little bit of time compared to previous rom what i checked but it's still fast enough to unlock your smartphone let me show you the face unlock now it is taking a little bit of time that's how it is the face unlock is a little bit taking time but it will unlock it will get unlocked as you can see but it takes a little bit of time you need to make properly i mean recognize your face properly while setting the face unlock that's how it is and let me move back into settings and check out access built menu is given it's a handy feature to have in and a tall and above rom so you can see here you can directly access the volume button and brightness without accessing them directly that's a handy feature that's working fine location privacy settings and security as i said before and wallpapers and style you get print of wallpapers no you won't get any wallpapers here and dark theme themed icons and app grid is given into the display settings you get again print of options here colors you can choose among saturated and boosted natural and adaptive looks like a little bit washed out that's how it is and tap to wake this given ambient display is also given which is working fine no problem regarding that these are the display options you get dark theme here in order to get pitch black condition i will show you within a second and sound settings you get all the basic settings working fine touch vibration haptic feedback you can enable or disable all the settings from here me sound enhancer i mean the direct sound settings are also given you can choose the headphone type and preset type from here that's how it is and uh, let me move into apps you get default apps you can change from here as you can see if you want to use any home app home launcher you can change from here now here the customization comes superior settings you can see here customization first thing here you need to enable monitor engine and use black theme then only when i apply it as you can see now it is in pitch black condition you need to enable this option definitely if you want to get that pitch black condition no means it will be in gray scale condition i mean gray type theme which are the wallpaper you apply certain theme would be applied that's how it is and i can pack signal i can pack wi-fi i can pack i can shape you can change from here into status bar you get plenty of customization battery styles are given here you can change from here Network speed also you can enable or disable in the status bar items quick settings are given plenty of options you can check out here buttons settings you get gestures three finger gesture is given to take a screenshot and double tap on status bar on lock screen those things are given into system settings you get these all the options here lock screen settings you get plenty of options notifications also you get options power menu advanced reset button is also given in the miscellaneous settings you get ripple effect and wake on plug these are the customization available in superior os
Now let's see the BGMI gameplay, how it handle in this particular ROM. I hope I explained everything. I'll show you the ch charging animation also later. Let's see how it handles and what all the graphic settings we get in the BGMI. And into the graphic settings, let me show you here. You can see a yeah, smooth plus ultra only, nothing great here. You won't get any smooth plus extreme options. And you won't see even the real time FPS count also. And you can see here the volume is almost 90% now. Into the boot camp, let me try this. And also, I will be showing you the TDM followed by this. And later, show you the charging animation and wind out this video. And by the way, if you are first time to this channel, hit that subscribe button down below, guys. And also, follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon. Whenever I upload a new video, so you will get notified. And if you like the video, give it a like. I will be motivated to make similar kind of videos. And let's jump into boot camp. Most of them watching my videos but not subscribing to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Let's see how it handles in bootcamp. Smooth plus ultra won't be that much great. I mean the 40 FPS. If it is 60, then it would be better. But anyhow, these days people, I mean the ROM giving with 40 FPS only by default. I don't know what's the problem. I even touched the Poco X3. There they are giving 60 FPS, even 90 with just one toggle in settings you make that okay it was laggy you can see here and set to same graphic settings again you can see here smooth plus ultra only now with tdm it's not as smooth as the yesterday what i reviewed you can see here there is little bit lag also and loudness is also fine enough you can see here it's pretty loud regarding loudness i don't have any problem let me decrease it's too loud you can play the game but it's i don't recommend for gaming rom this one Playable, but definitely not as 60 FPS, but still in 40 FPS, it's not that great. That's how it is. And let me show you the charging animation. That how you get that wobbling effect and charging slowly. Obviously, I'm using this 10 watt charger. I recommend to use the same. And the verdict is very simple. If you want to use stock type ROM and you have already using this superior OS like 11, 10, you can definitely update that. I mean, flashing clean, flashing that. That's how it is. And definitely, I don't recommend for gaming like BGM. Casual games you can play. That's how it is. And hope I explained everything. These are the recent apps you can see here. And thank you for watching guys, we'll meet you with another interesting video, until that keep smiling, bye bye for now.